Hi, this is John Welsh doing a recording for um, Fabio for AstroArt and also for Terry uh, at Starlight Express. Uh, this is to show off the capabilities of AstroArt 7 uh, due to be released in September 2018, I think it is. Uh, it's currently tracking um, M27, uh, a 300 second exposure at uh, 1 by 1 binning which on my setup is around about 0.31 arc seconds per pixel wouldn't usually image at that scale uh, but it's just to show really how good the adaptive optics of Starlight Express are uh, in conjunction with the AstroArt software so this is the guide star that we're tracking here uh, at the moment it's tracking really well it's quite good seeing tonight um, this is a visual representation of the RA and deck. Uh, not sure if this is measured as arc seconds per pixel, 0.18, or if it's some sort of an RMS value. But either way, uh, once all these points are plotted inside this central bullseye, it usually makes for really good tracking, even at uh, one by one on this uh, telescope. The telescope's a uh, Celestron Edge HD. Um, C11 or HD11 I beg your pardon and it's um, currently at F10 so it's around about 2.8 meters focal length uh, so this is really putting it to the test uh, imaging that one by one and also trying to uh, take a five minute exposure so I'll come back on the exposures finished and then we can have a look at the quality of the image Okay, so we're on 97, 98% of the exposure finished now. So we'll be able to see uh, just how well AstroArt has tracked with the Starlight Express adaptive optics and see what sort of an image we get. Okay, so this is M27. Uh, as I say, a very high resolution. I wouldn't normally image at this scale, but it's just to show really uh, how good these two uh, products work together. Uh, what I can do as well now is I can switch off the tracking and the guiding and I can use this little tool here, find coordinates. It finds the coordinates of the um, image in question using plate solving techniques and then what it does is uh, once you see this signal up here that indicates that it's actually uh, solved uh, the image in question and then you can then click on this sigma symbol and gives you some statistics and it works out quite a lot of the uh, data for you so you can see from this for example that the pixel scale is actually 0.31 by 0.31 and the field of view is 14.26 by 11.38 so that's quite a useful little uh, tool as well as for the image itself um, quite pleased with it uh, for five minutes at one by one uh, just through a clear filter uh, the stars are nice and round and I'll just zoom out a little bit so yeah uh, that's just a quick demonstration of how these two products work together and it certainly helped me out because the mount that I had uh, what I'm actually using at the moment is, uh, is shocking. It's got a lot of spiky um, jumps when it's tracking. Periodic error is not good at all. And so um, I need something really that can resolve or correct fast periodic error. And these two products uh, work perfectly for me. Okay, hope this helped. Thanks a lot. Bye.